Hello, and welcome into Squad Ops One Life event. And we have Operation Sleeping Serpents Part One. Little mini campaign kick off the weekend on a uh, unconventional time, Friday evening. Can you believe it? Uh, I'm B Carr, and joining me tonight is Wilbur. What's going on, everybody? How you all doing tonight? We're gonna get started here. In a few minutes, with round one of Sleeping Serpents, part one. Russia and British, all up in uh, Gorodok. We have a live time to call it now. We've got a few minutes to go over what's about to happen here. British have some outposts, an outpost, actually. Uh, in this round, it's going to be an Indian 9. And they're defending it against a Russian Sika destroy force. Russians know whereabouts the British are, and they're going to be uh, deploying a mechanized platoon to deal with it. Russians for this round have a couple of BTRs on top of a sizable infantry force try to evict British from their fob. The British have some awesome firepower too, like a tow launcher. Hey, Bacon, can you have one? Oh, Ooh, interesting. <laughs> Pretty much shuts down anything uh, armor-wise that Russia's going to throw at it at range. Um, of course, the way the position that they're in is not ideal. Lots yeah. of trees. Oh, definitely. I mean, they got a they got a good look over the river, but like you said, those trees are definitely going to obscure their vision of being able to hit a BTR from a distance. It all comes down to how far outside of the fob radius or the fob placement, because they have the radius they can build things in. So it just really comes down to where they're going to put the toe, and uh, which way they're going to cover. Uh, Russia had several options for uh, insertion here. They had uh, a couple of places they could drop infantry from. They could drop uh, actually across the river. Uh, you can see on the overlay, or sorry, the map here, Lima 8 and Lima 12 were uh, open sort of drop zones potentially for Russian activity. Uh, likewise, British alternative locations for their base could have been India 10 and Gulf 12. The Russians yeah. are going to be starting on the west side of the river, 600 meters away from the water line, and moving to secure India 6. And it definitely looks like they're building up a lot of defenses. Uh, they're just using mostly just sandbags. I haven't seen any razor wire or anything else. But they're definitely spreading the sandbags out. They're not consolidating their forces. They're, uh, I, I think they're playing this in a smart way of not making this an Alamo so much. It looks like they might have some squads that are going to be pushing off to the southeast and south. Maybe yeah, you can't hold. The radio. You can't hold completely on the uh, on the objective here. And here we are, live with round one of Sleeping Serpents Part 1. Uh, I mentioned this is like a mini campaign, so teams will be playing both sides of this, uh, of this scenario instead of on a typical campaign would be staying on the same team for both rounds. A little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a uh, organized uh, mini campaign to really, really kick off 2020. Oh, so really continuing the kicking off 2020 here. Well, we're, uh, yeah. we're seeing <laughs> Russian infantry yeah. moving. Yeah. BTR going straight for yeah. train bridge. You would get bumped right now. And it's Copy staging, that. waiting that. for yeah. the infantry yeah. to catch up, I think. Yeah. I lied. It's just trying to find a way down the hill. And here we go, Headbuster driving that BTR across the lower train bridge. Full squad in here, looks like. Uh, Headbuster with Bacon Batman gunning and uh, Squatty in the command seat, looks like. Yeah, I think uh, they're going to be using Phoenix's squad up here on the north side to do kind of like a scouting, see what they can see on this uh, British fob. And I think that's a pretty smart move. 
Uh, he only has himself and Frost in command. Uh, just so one fire team lead. So this is going to be interesting. Hopefully Phoenix and Frost don't go down simultaneously. And then they just, this whole Northern platoon who's separated from everybody or Northern squad separated from the rest of the platoon doesn't, you know, lose command comms. Hmm. British sending two squads south. Uh, let's see if we can get eyes on that real quick. Alright, the rocks kind of have poor visibility, so I'm having a guy... Uh, they've, uh, I believe, Russian infantry can openly cross the water. The British are going to have... I think the British are required to stay on their side of the river. So no... Uh, no counter-offensive going on here. This is a yeah. purely defensive play. You want me pushing in? Squad, two squads for British are actually south here, and they're moving through the foothills in the forest, uh, right east of the radio tower. Squads one and two for British moving into the forest. A little bit more of an advanced position. You never want to uh, just hole up on the objective unless you have it, you know, built out the wazoo. But something tells me that's not quite the case here for British. Yeah, I think Phoenix is still too far away to actually start seeing anybody. Um, he's up on a good, he's on a good spot to be looking, but I don't think he's going to see him through these trees. Well, probably so because uh, we got uh, Russian command comms that uh, Squad One had a has eyes on the British position. Into a six five one, I think it was the call. Get to the tree line to our northeast ASAP. If we take rounds, just send that. Yeah, it looks like straight northeast. Salt's moving his squad further north. I'm sorry. Yeah, Salt is uh, moving his squad further north, but uh, the British do have that other defense force up, squad three up on the north side too. I guess they're gonna try to secure the uh, the back cap as you would. Salt, did you need me to flank. spawn you in so you could? So I'm, I'm really wondering who's going to see who first. Two, I doubt anyone's over there, so you could speed it up until you get parallel. Levels. Evan's calling for the BTR that's crossed the river and it's supporting infantry to uh, move. And they're going to do that. They're going to all get back in and they're headed sort of towards uh, it's one of the side roads. They're going to try to cut, keep cutting across the forests going up a hill right now. They might run into British contact here after a little while. Another couple of minutes or so of moving. At this pace, they might run into the British uh, infantry. That other BTR, though, I wonder if the, uh, the tow will ever have a firing solution on that. If it's going to be effective, it's got to be elevated. And... Something tells me they're the something tells me Russia are holding that BTR in reserve for when troops are actually getting ready to make the push across the river. Oh, no yeah, indication that's, that's definitely a smart play. No indication right. Russia's actually making moves across right now. I want total control of this I Evan is still going over the plan right now. Oh yeah, here we go. Actually A to can is his marching orders and he's crossing the radio tower bridge and the btr is right over them covering the bridge i don't think british have eyes on this i'm watching northeast let's take this tree line asap there's the hill in the way of radio tower oh yeah it's a pretty good cross point really we need to clear the radio tower just to make sure Yeah, Scrooby's the one who's on the tow missile for the British forces. Uh, he is looking south now, but I think he's more scanning than he is, than anything else. It looks like looks like Phoenix has uh, crossed his fire team across. He's working his way up in the north. 
I got the entirety of the British force here, and I gotta say, well, maybe I don't. I don't think I see the. I guess there's another squad north of the point. I don't see them yet. Oh, hello. Oh, oh no. Uh, BTR down. BTR has been hit. They drove past the British uh, position here on the road. So he's got down. Hit. Huh. It got hit. It's uh, blowing smoke through smoke grenades, and security for the BTR is moving to engage in British squad. They're just over this hill here. Fire team's about ready to wrap around both sides of this hill, and these guys have no cover. Yeah, the BTR is a wheel down, so they're going to be at a crawl. I guess they could take that BTR back and swap it with the other one. Merrick's got his guys turned around to the north here. I think, and these... Ooh, matter of fact, Soldier Wolfie just fires over top of him. I think Wolfie might be walking up on... You didn't see Merrick in the prone there. Here comes a grenade from Wolfie towards Merrick. Maybe not thrown at Merrick. BTR is back up. They got the wheel repaired. Wolfie eats a grenade and the Russians are going to pull out. I think they lost a couple guys there. Beowulf, Bradshaw, Gaming Mango, hop back in the BTR. Bradshaw's pretty hit. British Mortar's coming out here. And the Russians are actually closed in within about two, three hundred meters of the FOB radius. Those Mortar's could be for them. Nope. Oh no! The British mortars landed about 20 meters short of their own forces. Oof. Luckily, everyone just turned tail and run, and all the spread on the Romanian mortars is going to hit the hill. Man, one enemy contact, uh, A little slow on the draw there for the mortar operator, but... Uh, and I don't think Batman sees these uh, enemy forces to his northeast. They're, I mean, he's got a, they got a straight side shot to him if they have a lat. Looks like Harv squad. I know they heard it. The Russians now have a more consolidated position here. It may be what they're, what maybe what they need to push into the fob. Ooh, and looks like smoke markers from Russian FTLs have marked uh, enemy position. You got a red smoke, and they are lighting up the forest here. And the uh, BTR from the west side of the river is actually adding fire here. They might have, uh, they might have made that uh, tow launcher a uh, a bullet bag. Scrooby's back in it. He's looking for. He's looking for it. He's fired. Not a direct hit. The BTR is taking some damage, but it's not a kill. The last second, uh, last second smoke screen from the BTR helped big time. Yeah, I think it saved that BTR because that toe should have popped it. And Scrooby off the toe now. Fulcrum drives the BTR away. Pretty lucky. Uh, great awareness from Pluto there. Pluto gunning that BTR. Russians and British still trading fire at about 150, 200 meters from a couple different angles here. Vlant Poutine, part of Adekan's, uh squad, is engaging Harva Security and company to their east, about 150 meters. This sort of this like wide open draw. It's kind of amazing. 
Have them screen the south. Daniel, you got contact no 62. Yeah, I'm surprised that the Harv hasn't moved his forces, okay, you know, a little bit more towards the north to catch these guys out in the open. I mean, he's still fighting from a, you know, all this heavy condensed canopy. If he moved them a little bit more to the north, he'd have an open picture of the field pushing on to the radio. Something tells me mortars are coming for this position. Uh, Evan calls in local to spread out and display. Mortars actually sound like they're landing pretty far. Overshot mortars. I know Harv is just wishing he had a lat right now because Bacon Batman keeps moving this BTR right in front of him. And Bacon Batman definitely doesn't know that they're up there because he'd be firing on them. Every uh, British squad has a lat. Matter of fact, they have two hats in their platoon. Ooh, Bacon takes a shot at Groot, causes Groot to fall right. So I think Harv is staying in position because there's a British element maneuvering behind. I think that's a rather Scottish chap squad. Uh, DVD runner, Lima Bean, Matt Bob and company. Uh, that squad are actually moving around. They're sort of trying to re... Actually, no, I'm wrong. That They're part of the line as well. Harv's lap might be taking a shot. He's, he's, he's taking a knee, looking towards the BTR. He hasn't pulled out his uh, AT-4 yet. Ooh, mortars land on Mango, Bradshaw. Bradshaw gets cut down by AR fire. Oh, here it comes, AT-4 shot coming out. Oh, nope, he decides not to. Oh, he's got to reload. Oh, embarrassed. You got to be ready to fire. There Ooh, comes the shot. Hit. One hit. I saw some sparks. Maybe that could be uh, that could be a uh, some. Oh, and it is dead. Oh my. Well, there goes one BTR. It'll be interesting to see how Evan gets this second BTR into the fight. But Bacon is down. Another set of mortars take out Captain. Oh, three, one blow. Agent Can, Mount of Death. And a third squad, he go down. Four to one salvo. Yeah, Phoenix is still sneaking up on their northern flank. I mean, they haven't been spotted yet, and they're getting within at least, I'd say, three, four hundred meters of uh, the radio. British mortars right now. British mortars right now doing some work. More rounds coming out, but this uh, Russian assault is definitely stalled. Uh, 12 kills for British now to 2 for Russia. Evan on the front line here trying to figure out how he wants to proceed. And I think Phoenix is getting into position to strike the base from the back. This is this is the real uh, this is the real play. They're actually going to advance in the open. Oh man! And Silas is in a building that can't see it. Uh, does anyone looking north? No. Maybe Chanka and Chanka and Athrov are the only ones probably capable of responding to this, and they're looking across the river still. But Phoenix has got his entire squad here. Frost is leading this charge. Moving along in the uh, the forest line here, they're just zeroing in on the audio of their mortar, and they've closed in to about 150 meters. A little bit more to go. They're going to skirt along this forest edge here. The mortars are really doing damage. Alpha Guido has got to have some kills. He's got five. Alpha's just throwing mortars wherever he can. Uh, the Russians are halt. They've halted their southern approach. Going to rely on Phoenix here. They're just over the fields where they've lost the BTR and smokes on top of that from British. Get down, guys. 
All right, listen, Vlad, we're in charge of this crew now. All right, I need you watching my southern flank. When you see the whole platoon pushing in, that's when you're going to stop watching it and come with us, okay? Stop. Got that, Vlad? Two, you're going to be with yeah, the right. main platoon push. Well, Evan I is organizing for a charge here. Liberal, um, yeah, it looks like he's just going to bum you. rush the open field, trying to get to where the mortars are. How many of this round for lats and hats from Benjamin in the chat? Uh, British have one lat in every squad and two hats in the platoon. Oh, someone just, just got killed. That was Alf Guido. He got zipped by the BTR as he's standing right Ooh. next to the... Uh, I would say he's got zipped by the BTR. I see another burning wreck, so maybe just regular old fire. Oh, they're, they're getting taken down now. Evan, he's trying to get his guys across, but they got him spotted on top of that hill by the fob. Zero, one, two. Four, how's it going? East as well. Evan's making moves. He's going to cut up the, uh, he's going to cut up the uh, hillside here and then probably try to maneuver along the river. Maximum concealment between him and his target. Phoenix is now in position. Matter of fact, Silas is about ready to get, uh, Silas is actually fighting for his life right now, I think. Or not. He's just sort of like trying to figure out command comms now. Grenades are going off outside of his building. He's calling in. He's got to be calling in a fire team attacking them. Yeah, I, I think uh, they're starting to focus more of their forces towards the south. I only see Sergeant Jackson here on the British side going towards the north, looking towards the north. But there is that squad to the southeast, or let's say the east, that uh, it's Harv squad. And they're, oh, Evan. His right, element has just gotten to back, you know, back capped by the rubber pelican and Merrick squad. It looks like they're going to push up behind them. Frost gets zipped by oh, uh, a yeah. red rove right there. Down goes uh, Daniel. British are maneuvering. A couple squads are maneuvering right now. The main southern attack force now directly in contact with the main Russian assault force from the back. Harv has got his guys slowly closing uh, group, group. Going too far. the box here on Evan and the rest of his guys. Vlad and Cloud Kicker are pretty much the only guys holding this to, position. Uh, he's in a, uh, a two-story <laughs> A squad and a half are about ready to run over these two. Yeah, and the right. AR is really just shooting over them. Anyway. Looks like uh, British will take a shot. Uh, Charlie, stay here and keep watching the west, southwest. Everyone, your objective is take out a fire. And the final command has been given from Evan. I think he doesn't think his time is left good uh much left here. File kicker gets zipped uh killed by Lima Bean on top of the hill. And Hawk double thinks twice about trying to run across this road right now. Vlad is the only thing holding this uh side of the push together for Russia. Enemies in front of me, they just took out one of my guys. But Russia Making moves, a squad size force now going northeast up the hill. Yeah, it's looking like Map Bob is wrapping Roger all the way up around on this radio tower to get a better vi vision. Heavy that force on the radio near you. And it might play out good for him. Except for everyone is up the other hill now. Squad's but five, good to clear it out. West of the road, Juliet 647. Sergeant Jackson on the meter machine gun is uh, looking for people to come at him from all directions. And here comes here comes the Russians up and over the hill. Game and Mango goes down to Sergeant Jackson. Right, see we got a guy close. I'm fr oh, they're fragging. Evan's fragging gonna try to though. echolocate Sergeant Jackson here. Overthrown grenade. Times two. Do we have? two four. All right, everyone. All right, uh, Bravo fire. I'm an Oz. You got to push on. Just push it. Duplex. Duplex. I need to push this hill with your Russians have made it to the uh, the sandbag wall here. I'm an Oz. I'm an Oz. Contact behind us. With Vlad dead, the uh, the pocket has closed, and now Evan has to commit, guys. 
Yeah, Evan has to commit guys to behind him now. Everyone is yep. collapsing in. Imanaz is set up right on the other side of the hill from Sergeant Jackson. Is killed Gooba. And Matt Bob and Lava Beam are gonna run southeast here. India six around here, correct? Yep, there's a fob somewhere in this keypad. Eyes on enemy lodge. I think <laughs> wow, Sergeant Jackson can hear Ibanaz running away. And the Russians are gonna skirt along the uh, edge of the hill here, run away from Sergeant Jackson. Hold the the uh sandbags. Whatever you can do. Meanwhile, uh yeah. Phoenix Re is running to called out the uh, the lodges in the radio, so I think they do have a position of where the radio is that they got to take. Ooh. Phoenix threw a grenade. Ooh, it actually hit Saki. And killed Groot. Got Phoenix one. and your people are gonna hold this house. One. Ooh. I know we're getting the trade. Phoenix kills Zaki, but young uh, young bands. What a thing. Harv's right behind Young Bands so here. Young okay, Bands just killed Phoenix. Now. They've got ear people right in front of them on the other side of the building. I am three and ear people. Watch that building. Watch that building. Is trying to. Uh, oh, here comes Harv. Harv and Young Bands move up. Harv's clearing the buildings. I don't. He might have seen ear people on the other side. Uh, ear people. Yeah, it's sort of like on the inside of this fence. Harv's gonna flank around the uh, west or the east side of the fence here. Your people sort of you fell back into this nice little pocket where the Early where the fence is created here. Sandbag. Harv's gonna push up though. Didn't see anyone. Silas so are coming in from your uh, south. British forces right. significant kills here. Twenty three to eleven for Russia. It's a nice two squad lead there. Copy. All right, come on. Hey, how Sergeant Jackson's left slowly left? moving up. Looking for these guys that are up, uh, going after the fob. He's tracked him, Eminez, through sound all the way up here. Okay, we gotta find a way to push those lodges. You could go north, go north, and come around. British now really falling back. Everyone's coming up the hill now. Looks like five guys holding the radio location for Russia. Russians throwing smokes wherever they can. Sergeant Jackson gets reinforced by a fire team. Brevi goes down in the middle of the killing field. Oddball's actually running right up on Humanaz and Salty Potato here. See, he's got a repeat from the uh, last stop. He's gonna here pop comes up Oddball grenade. grenade oh, what a throw. A little overthrown, but it might actually catch someone. Catches Fink and Duplex. And looks like Hawk is able to kill Imanaz. It's falling apart for Rush. And Evan is calling a general attack, a last stand, as Evan is shot. Duplex. Yep, Oddball gets him as British reclear the point, and Lib is sort of, Liberal Pundit is, uh, Back here. Ooh. Liberal actually just gets shot and finally killed. I think that was Money Man up top of the hill. And I actually I think that might be people it. might be the last one. He's down here next to Silas. Oh. Silas is hearing him. Silas through the window. And that's gonna be end of round one. I don't think there's any other uh, Russian forces alive. A great margin of victory there. 32 kills for British overall, 13 kills for Russia, and GG is called by Invid Admin. A great victory for British staying maneuverable on the southern front and keeping their force intact really helps them to stay alive and make a... make it really Shy tough guys. for Russia's uh, plan to really pull out there and actually work. Yeah, but absolutely. We've got, we've got round one of the bag. We're going to take a short break, and we'll be right back with round two of Sleeping Serpents here on Squad Ops. Okay, so squads one and two, that's going to be Harv and Oddball. are going to push out of here on <laughs> foot. 
They're going to proceed south along the draw enemy path markers in the Foxtrot column. Then from there, they're going to move northeast uh, along the Gulf and Hotel columns, respectively. One taking the west side of Saloniki, one taking the east side of Saloniki. Their objective is the Hotel 10 5 Hill at the 5 marker. They're going to secure that and then proceed east to assault the objective. Meanwhile, squads 3 and 4 are hopefully going to load up in the helicopter and head over to the light vehicle mark on the east side of the map. That's uh, Lima 9 for reference. From there, they're going to proceed uh, in two kind of separate groups west over to the secondary 5 marker on the northeast side of the objective and proceed southwest from there. The enemy objective should be somewhere in the India 10 vicinity. Uh, we're looking for a FOB. The objective is to secure that and destroy it. Does anyone have any questions? I have Great. One. All right, Scottish, what is it? Uh, are we allowed to be revived if we spontaneously decapitate whilst uh, jumping out the helicopter? Maybe. It Don't do that. It Listen shouldn't to happen. It shouldn't happen. Squad leads, break them out. Bravo with me, or Charlie with me. All right. A uh, air mech platoon is going to drop one or three squads behind, I think I heard. I think I heard three squads behind. Uh, or two squads. Squad three and squad four at Lima nine. Oh, yeah, okay. Dismount the heli and move west separately. Two squads are going to get dropped behind enemy lines and push west to meet the objective. Meanwhile, two squads are going to go straight south and then come up to the north. To take the objective, they're gonna be like the goal positions. I think for uh, the push here from Stylus are pretty close to the objective. I don't think they're gonna make their goal position um, before they get into contact. I think British are gonna push off. I think British are gonna push off to the intersection in Hotel Eleven. And really, just hold all around there. It's, I think I think it's a pretty wide open location. Lots of hills, lots of rolling hills, plenty of defilade to hide behind, and a lot of cover. But the sight lines are really there too. They can see down the roads. Anyone crossing those roads. There's that village over there, Golf Eleven Hotel Eleven. That's probably going to be an attractive place to hold up in to guard the southwest. But where do you put the rest of your guys? Uh, you leave one squad on the base. Yeah, Maybe you send a squad north? That's what I would do. I, I would leave one squad on the base. I would have one focusing on the north and then another one to the northeast and east. Um, since it's like a high ground and you got all those rocks... You're gonna hear them crawl. You're gonna hear them walking up to you before they actually get up to you if you come anywhere near that northwest position. So, you know, you want to see them crossing the river, and you want to see them crossing that field that's in Julia Ten. And uh, with that, the helicopter takes off, and we are live with round two of Sleeping Serpents Part One. Helicopter departs the uh, rally point. With a squad in tow. Alpha Guido and his guys are in there, looks like. Does he have like two squads in? He didn't have two. Nah, not two or no. four squads. Yeah, he's just got one squad at a time. Alpha's riding along this helicopter. They're proceeding northeast. And they're going to go, I think they're going to sort of turn around. Uh, they're going to arch around the radio. Meanwhile, we got, uh, man, that's gotta be a nice ride. It's gotta be, it's gotta be exciting to be in a helicopter, being able to make this big move right off the bat. Cause it's only, it's not even been a minute yet. And these guys, have, you know, two clicks out. Um, oh yeah. It, it, I love riding in the helicopters and then I haven't done it in an op yet, but just to be able to, you know, it's just, it just adds the wow factor of being in an op. Gotcha. British oh, positions, one squad northeast, one squad west towards where one in, where the southern Russian force is supposed to hold. Looks like one squad south. And here's the dismounts from the helicopter. 
Kilo 7. A little bit off of the planned Ooh. area. It's a good uh, helicopter, you know, drop off. You know, everyone spread out to separate separate positions. Did a defensive 360. Hearing concerns on a Russian radio that the drop was too far north. I think it's actually going to work out because it's going to give the southern forest time to catch up. They're still going straight south. They haven't made a turn east yet. They're still in uh, two platoon files, and uh, they're just moving down to the river. They're going to cross the river here. Yeah, they're, the helicopter's moving back to pick up the second squad now. Merrick, where's your secondary team at? Russian troops. Oh, right, he can't see Playing it pretty safe actually seeing fire team cover one fire team moving across grounding in my ops what's going on this is great they're just east of the, uh, the village where Dix is at. Be here comes the hello back, back to the uh, back to the rally point to pick up the second squad yo dude in bravo your team's leaving you Getting some, oh, getting right. some uh, bounding, Jesus. Go. Go. bounding practice here. Someone forgot they were in Bravo. It happens to all of us. Russia gonna take this high ground across the river. A nice little uh, observation post for the rest of the uh, team moving across the South River. And actually, the helicopter's so efficient. They're taking the other uh, squad worth of infantry right now. I think, actually, that was really smart. Um, the map, you can see two squad leads are on the ground. So it's, I don't think it's their full squads. Looks like it's a... Uh, just it's fire teams at a time. Yeah, so I think it was a full squad for Alpha and then a fire team from Merrick because I think Alpha has a short squad. So he doesn't have this full nine. So the rest of um, Merrick's guys are actually moving now. Along with command. Uh, enemy command just disconnected too. Oh. Well, the show must go on. I imagine Phoenix taking over as 2IC right about now. Is, uh, is telling Hedda and uh, Aja Can and Bacon Batman what's going on. Enemy head. Uh oh. On the north, north. Indeed. Yeah, that's welcomed. <laughs> and it was not aimed at me on. Copy, I think I was Might have been a British ND or a Russian ND. Well, you just gave out your location. I saw had, we don't have to keep it. Can't do that. Uh, let's take a look at the British disposition here. So the squad in the south is splitting the fire teams and they really stretch themselves out. Uh, they're about 500 meters away from each other. Uh, covering the south, the farm over in Hotel 12, and it looks like a uh, probably a nice part of the forest in, uh, in Juliet 11 is being covered by one squad. That's a, that's a big ask. We've got uh, one squad on defense. Looks like one squad fire team strength holding the train bridge. And who we got here? Who's two? Adakan is all that's really holding back this northern Russian push. Matter of fact, Merrick is really pushed in pretty far. I think the British are redeploying because they hear the helicopter to their east now and is dropping off the rest of Merrick's team. Merrick is getting into position. Looks like they're heading for the compound. Kilo 9.
they can the British can hear the helicopter. And America getting ready to come up on that compound I was just saying. I was just talking about. Or maybe they're waiting for us to take this compound and shoot at us from the forest. Yeah, this is very open ground. I've been in several firefights in this compound lately. It's uh it's rather claustrophobic. Don't think they're gonna get in a firefight here though. Russians move right in, take it over. They're gonna hold position wait for uh it looks like uh Ooh, Russians getting, uh, Russians getting intel on the tow missile placement. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, Alfred Guido has got a great vision of the British defenses. I mean, I mean that tow is just perched on top like of the hill. Six, yeah, like six, seven hundred yards out. No one's on it right now. Nothing to shoot. They're not going to try. They're not even going to attempt to try to take a shot at the uh, helicopter. At least eight hundred. Which we're makes not, a lot we're of sense. From here. We're getting a lot closer. Yeah, we're not engaged from here. Uh, uh, about Evan is on the mortars. Has actually turned his uh, mortar to the northeast, east northeast. I guess he's anticipating uh, taking some shots at where the mortar landed. Ooh, Russians engaging. So Charlie, two is taking contact west. Uh, it sounds. Uh, if you want both your guys. Three. Uh, if you want both your guys. Three. That's fine. Uh, yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, okay, got that one. Okay, yeah, uh, Daniel and uh, Modern Death have spotted. Uh, rather, has got his chap and uh, the rest of Merrick's guys up on top of the hill in the compound. Daniel taking some pot shots at about 300 meters. What a mad lad. So I'll tell you right now, These uh, British soldiers are just sort of hanging on this hill. They got some guys right down the hill to their uh, south for support. I think mortars are coming Ooh, in right mortars now. Mortars coming in on Oddball, or rather Scottish Chaps location. Maybe one. Might have been a ranging one. Probably a good shot. Ooh, wow, Merrick got hit. Daniel hit Merrick through the window. Merrick down to about half health. Had to had to stabilize. Got his medic right there though, so he's gonna come back up to full health. Daniel made that shot. That's an incredible shot. Got a hand it to the kid. That's a young guys. Attention to detail at right right distance. Dedicate one guy to watch uh, here comes more mortars. Yeah, Ooh. Little short. But Merrick's got a fire team actually positioned uh, closer to the road. They snuck into the forest and they're using the forest to skirt closer to the road. They're probably within 30, 40 meters of the road now. But they are in for a world of pain. Uh, Bradshaw, Cloud Kicker, the rest of the uh, squad here, probably under Captain Morgan's leadership, this fire team anyway, is uh, waiting for them to come through these woods. Hearing shots to the south. Uh, looks like some shots to the south. I guess uh, Hedda pulled his fire team, uh, actually has his fire team in contact right now as two squads from Russia continuing their northern push here from the south, have got uh, Finca Duplex running away. Yeah, so they're back falling back. Contact, Cloud yeah, kickers right putting yeah, shots in America's squad Enemy in the woods. Two, two, it's a bad position. Yeah, squad two on the British, British side British and the squad... Or actually, all of Squad 2 is engaging Merrick's squad. I guess Merrick's squad saw the northern part of Squad 2 and just started firing, but I don't think they know the Squad 4 is coming up right behind them. Got Alpha Guido's squad moving up pretty quick. Hey, 
Scrooby and Ray, Razor. They're gonna probably take the first bit of contacts. Lots of fire. I see smoke markers. Ooh, man. Mortar's coming in now. That's gotta be bad news. BVD runners probably gotta get this guy's back. Mortar hang time should be landing any second now. Enemy dissipate. Enemy Ooh. That's way off. Mortars, the mortars were for Alpha Guido, but looks like it landed behind them. The suppression is real, though. Wow. These guys cannot move through this forest. These guys are stuck here. Go east first and north. They're just uh, trading shots with tracers in the distance. That's all they can do. Through the foliage, I, I doubt you can see anyone. Looks like Merrick's on the move. He's going to try to get his guys to move around here. Now, British have repositioned the squad that was watching the south to try to keep a tab on Merrick's guys if they push south. That's about what's going to happen here. Because Merrick is pulling off to the east. He's going to try to run all the way around, I guess. Maybe come up from the south. Yeah, it looks like don't get shot. He's coming up quick on uh, Gaming Mango and Fulcrum. They're about 100 yards away from each other. Trying to do a north, north sweep. Uh -oh. I saw Aetherov gets killed. But uh, I guess the engagement's going well for... Wow, what is... <laughs> Bacon Batman is shooting at 600 meters. They're getting fired out. Let's go. They're getting fired out by the... Bacon Batman's on top of the hill at Train Bridge, and he's landing rounds pretty close to Razor. Right now, with this engagement, six kills Russia, two kills British. It's in Russia's favor, but uh, it all comes down to how Russia maneuvers to try to get there in. Oh, is the helicopter going to pick these guys up? Because that would be sweet. Who's actually with Money Man? Oh, Silas is in the helicopter right now. So, helicopter command. Razor and Scrooby are kind of stuck here. Yeah, you're a nightmare. He's found Fulcrum and Gaming Mingo, and they are just moving you're around. Gaming Mingo goes order. down, and then Fulcrum goes so down to a grenade from Zach. So, they know they're up here on this northeast uh, position of the FOB. And looks like Squad 1 from the British forces are coming in to reinforce from Bacon Batman. I got him, boys. I got him. I killed him. Yep, they're gonna have to hold this. It's a it's an advantageous position for them to hold. They need to keep this chain good shots, good of shots. uh walk it left down the I guess this chain of uh connection. That sounded dumb. But you know I what I mean. They wanna try to get the shit. fallback route still intact so the British forces are all yeah, together. We're pulling, we're pulling back northeast, we're pulling back to northeast. Keep the front Holy alive. Shit. Mortars don't seem to have an effect at we're gonna pull back, uh, this guys, time, we're gonna reorient, all the way over there on the other side of the map. Headbuster has eyes on, don't get shot in company, content, trying to figure out uh, the where they're going to gonna poke wait. through here. Um, we're down, down Headbuster's just now. watching this road. Most ball squad is shooting across the field straight into this fob position that has Phoenix. And um, um, I think they're going to start pushing in because they saw them pulling back away from their position high up on the hill. Looks like uh, mortars in the crossroads right where uh, right where the squad was. Oddball's got his guys uh, skirting around east. Zero point laying down some fire at a distance. Ooh, Phoenix just gets headshotted. I don't know where from, but he is down. Maybe uh, from lightning or a security. At least on the point. That is nuts. Lightning gets killed as a result. Uh, 
Whew. That's unfortunate. That's a squad lead down for British. Mortars are being deployed here on the western side to keep the Russians from advancing on this uh, fire team. Full squad. Uh, sort of uh, playing with the idea of pushing in towards the objective. They're pretty close. They're the closest element we've got right now to the objective. Harv is, uh, I guess, trying to figure out his next move from here on the ground. He knows this guy's to his north. Matter of fact, he calls it out. He calls out Bacon's position. Bacon's coming right down for him, it looks like. Bacon and his fire team are making the move south. Move, move, move. And looks like Harf is going to... They might trade places. Oh, Cloud yep. Kicker's got eyes on the helicopter. He needs to turn back. He's got people walking right out in the field in front of him. Maybe he saw BVD runner. Yes, he did. Putting rounds down, but then he takes some rounds back from... It looks like Merrick squad. He's taking shots. He pulls away. He's gonna have to bandage. He's got a break up, uh, back up from Bradshaw. All right, command. We're uh, we slipped along the uh, railroad. We're gonna be sticking to hugging the. Uh, yeah, base Merrick of our squad hill is just to to lacing down this the, this uh, hill with some fire, that, uh, putting down some good suppression. Helicopter playing around with uh, getting involved here, shooting. Looks like some suppression going out on the uh, the base for the British base. And ooh, you can even see the tracers crashing close to Pig and Batman, actually just skipping over his hill. But they're under fire right now too. They're having to prone to get up over the top of this hill. Grenades being thrown less than 10 meters away from their position. Headbuster gets hit by, looks like your nightmare and more. He's got to crawl back to uh, One, do you have any units across the road to the heal up. Make? Now, Harv's on a mission to skirt around this entire hill. He wants to use the train tracks and just sort of roll up the northern hill of the FOB. That could work. There's a lot of trees don't around that direction. Don't push, don't push, don't push, but he's got to break contact here and commit to it if he's going to get there in time. Well, it looks like Alpha Guido is just moving straight down these train tracks towards the south. Uh, he did get he did get seen, took some rounds, but then he had his AR put down some suppressing fire so that they can continue moving down these train tracks unabused. One, we're gonna try to give you another gun run on those contacts and give me a. Good idea of where they're, they're trying to coordinate with the helicopter now to really Jesus. get in there and uh, get put some suppression on. 19 kills for Russia. <laughs> Five for British. Those mortars Ooh. coming up pretty empty. Three was able to break contact right, to the to the mortar strike, though. I say they're coming up so, empty, yeah, but I'm Evan going. got uh, Evan's got a kill. I gotta get eyes out. That's the fucking thing. Must be hard to aim that gun. Uh, yeah, he's coming in Rounds for a were recon, coming right, right on hard there. Merrick is about ready to. Uh, I think Merrick's pushed, pushed out a little bit too far. He needs to double time it west. He's uh, the furthest element away. But here comes Alpha Guido. Yeah, he just called out the remnants of Bacon Batman squad. Mortars landed close to uh, Harv's group. Young Bands took a hit, but is okay. He's bandaging, but here comes Alpha. Looks like he's got uh, Chaka, Razor, Scrooby, Sergeant Jackson. They're about ready to make a uh, real push up this hill. And Oh, man, and Frost and Shadow Wraith are looking the wrong way. I think they're getting shot at from another direction. Frost even abandons the position. I think Bacon is taking shots at them. Someone's taking shots. Oh, it's Sabi shooting <laughs> someone else. The suppression is coming in from Oddball Squad. We got a fire team suppressing the Bacon. And 
Alpha about ready to top the hill. British are entirely looking another direction right now. Frost is still looking out for uh, this flank that's supposedly coming in from the east. The shots definitely coming from that direction. More mortars landing closer to the Harves guys. And here comes Alpha up and over with Razor. Razor's trying to trade from Saber. CBRC. Alpha Guido kills FNSMA. Command is down. Razor. He's down. Oh, what a cloud kicker and shadow wraith. I don't know what they're doing. They, I'm about to cry. Alpha's these... on the mortars. <laughs> so Alpha is firing man. danger close mortars straight up in the air. And Alpha is looking for more. Cloud kicker. Alpha sidesteps. Cloud kicker goes to the ground. And looks like uh, they know it's bad news. Alpha throws a grenade. Ooh, is that going to hit anything? That might. Gets shadow. Is looking at the helicopter. He's not even looking towards the fob that just got ran over. He's shooting at the helicopter. The helicopters. Helicopters still making some uh, suppression here. It's keeping Russia or keeping British from retaking the objective. What a great move by Russia. This is amazing. Alpha Guido coming out. Oh, a toe. Misses. Cloud Kicker actually Alpha takes Guido out Alpha Guido. Cloud Kicker was hiding underneath the lodgy. Oof. Bacon Batman dies re trying to retake the objective. A big push here. It's just Beowulf and Pluto from his squad remaining to try to fight off um, what appears to be there. Razor knows that they're here, though. Uh... Yeah, Merrick's squad. He's firing in on Iduken. Br British are not long for this round. Iduken is going to bleed out here and does so. Cloud Kicker is fighting from underneath his lodge. Doing what he can with his uh, mini me. Uh, meanwhile, 29 kills for Russia, only 9 kills for British. India Three squads are about ready to just India completely walk two. over this point. I think it's literally Beowulf and Cloud Kicker left, and Cloud Kicker just got shot from Razor right before he gets a kill. Uh, who else is up right now? I think that uh, I think it's I just think Beowulf. It's just Beowulf. Yep. That just came crashing down I'm for really Russia right in Russia's favor. Eh, it was yeah, just that, that was push. tremendous. Yeah, that push by Alpha Guido definitely sealed the deal. I mean, they were hurting already, but yeah, Alpha Guido and his his fire team that pushed made that push just you know, put the, put the here comes Russia coming up into the hill. Your nightmares actually could get the last kill here. Uh, coming up and over the hill. I don't think Baywolf. Baywolf's gonna take a shot at Kuba. Kuba's dead. And there goes Beowulf in return. Your nightmare comes up and over and, and seals the deal. Might have been a blue on blue there at the end, but Jesus. doesn't matter. The game is over. What a tremendous oh, round two there. Russia, significant, significant plays. 32 kills all told. 11 for British.